Hey, uh, real quick, before we do anything, I got two things we gotta do. I do a really bad podcast called Cut the Tape, and for like the last six years, there's been no intro to it. So Lucas is gonna record everyone, and on the count of three, I need everyone to say, Cut the Tape, and that's gonna be the intro to the show. Okay, so one, two, three. Cut the tape! Lucas, did you get that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, it's that time again. It's time to cut the tape. Cut the tape. All right, I got another haul in from a few places. Uh, let's start with the smallest box. As I've always said, the great thing about having your own store, you don't have to explain to your wife when you get home what all these boxes are. That's the only reason I have a job. All right, so the first box is a Black Friday sale item that I got. Oh, man, this is... This is the Matrix of Leadership, the bookends, but this is the Unnecessary Gold Edition. Why did they make it gold? Because that's the only color they thought they could make it that kind of made sense. I don't know. Why is there a gold matrix? I don't know why there's a gold matrix. It's not in the story. Right? Here's the thing, I think I might already have one of these, but it was so cheap for the Black Friday sale that I risked it. I said, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and get it again. I think I, I, think I might have it already. There it is. The gold matrix of leadership. Why does that exist? It's a cool, bookend, but the gold color does nothing for me. It does nothing for me. Why did I get it, you ask? I don't know. Because uh, I'm addicted to Transformers. That's why. Now this one, I'm also gonna open. It's the blaster card holder. There's a Soundwave one, which has been repainted into Sound Blaster, and then a gold version of that made. Why is there a gold version of Soundwave? You might ask. I don't know. You might say, well, Rick, why did you buy it? I don't know. Rick, will you just buy anything that has Transformers on it? Almost. Almost. Let's see here. Not individually numbered. Hmm. This, is, has, this has that anime cell shading type of feel to it. The, the door thing, it's on a hinge. It's supposed to come down. Why does it not come down? There is no button for it. Really? <clears throat> so you put it there, right? You do that, you take your business card. This is my business card. It's a little frame, see, because I own a frame shop. And then you, you put it right there and then it holds your business card right there. <clears throat> cool. But it comes with two heads. It comes. <clears throat> with a toy head or rather a head based off 
the original toy. <clears throat> but it also comes with a head based off the animation model. I think that's the head I'm gonna go with when I display it. Yeah. Ah, man, look at those cheeks. That's not... <sighs> you know what? I'm glad to have some kind of statue of Blaster and Soundwave. So what am I, what am I, what am I complaining for? What am I, what am I complaining for? This is just the bust with the added bonus of it being a card holder. That's all it is. That's all it is. Back into the box it goes for 20 years. I actually have a, uh, a case at home that has statues and stuff in it, so these will actually go into that case because I do love displaying statues. Remember Hard Hero? Guy who used to run Hard Hero is a really cool guy. Danny Miami. <laughs> Danny from Hard Hero. Guy was cool as shit. He moved to Texas, got out of the statue business. Never heard from him again. Danny Miami. All right, let's see. Ooh. Well, first up is Tarny Tarn Tarn. Tarn. There he is. In all his glory. Tarn is one of those characters where. He now transcends the media he was introduced in, like Drift. Drift, I would say, was the first, and then Windblade, and now Tarn. That they exist. They, they transcend from the comic book to all sorts of media now. Reversely, you had characters that existed in animation, or were specific to an animation, such as Bulkhead and Lockdown, and they've transcended to other forms of entertainment. <clears throat> this is Robotic Rocksteady from Super Siete. And this is The Shredder. I thought I already had The Shredder. Maybe I have, maybe this is a cartoon colored version of The Shredder or a toy colored version of the shredder. I don't remember. I don't remember. I do love the Super 7 figures. However, I think the Transformer Super 7 figures are not performing at the level that they should be. Ah. Mr. Gar of Wreck. Nice box, right? I like this. The slip covers are going away because vendors are complaining that they're having a hard time displaying the figures. This, this is cool. This actually has a toy accurate head. Comes with a cartoon model head. I, I think I might use this head. I did not remember that it came with a toy accurate head. I appreciate that. Here's one I'm excited about because I love G2. I love those South Florida colors. G2 Megatron. Instantly right off the bat, wrong faction symbol. Don't care what you say, that's the wrong symbol. I'm dying to have this guy repainted in purple. 
Super 7, do a purple version of G2, of this, this toy. Oh, oh, they nailed it. Absolutely, look at those, look at that face. Look at that face right there. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. They absolutely nail it. 100% nailed it. Well done. Well, well done. Comes with the sword that was seen in the comments. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Well done. And there's a big box. There's a big box. That's right. There's a big box. Big's box has big stuff in it. Oh, come. Come to me. Big box. This will, this is probably, yeah, this will be my last pile of loot for the year. From the toy store of Big and Bad. Well, I know what I'm building tomorrow. It's the Starscream model kit from the Bumblebee movie. 100% building it. Ah, oh, big bad. Come on. You know what? The, the glue's also really shitty on these, but the card is crushed. I think I'm slowing down. Oh, the card's all busted on this. Big bad, come on. Uh, I, I'm going to slow down on Origins. I'm going to get the characters that didn't exist before in Origins. Uh, oh, Nemesis Prime. This is the camera. We've done the camera before on the show. This is the Nemesis version. I've opened the Optimus and the Reflector version. Probably not going to open this one, but Nemesis version of the camera. I know what I'm gonna do for the next cut the tape. I have all the crossover figures so far, and I've never opened a single one. The Back to the Future one, the Ecto one, the X-Men, the Dracula, never opened any of them. I am gonna open them. That'll be next week's cut the tape. It'll be themed to Transformers crossovers, Frankenstein. They should have called this one Autobot X. I got, I got two of them. Shh. Don't show this to my wife. Oh, the box is so small. Little gargoyle figure. Yeah. Lexington. The box is considered. I like how these are all in proportion to each other. Well done. Nika, Neka, Nuka. All right, so these are something new to me. The Yo-Yo Park series of model kits. Here is Optimus. And yes, I will, I will be building these. So we have Optimi. We have Le Bumblebee. These are from Rise of the Beast Machine Wars. And uh, Optimi Primal. I will be building these, not not right now, but later. Ah, Rodimus. 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 Uh, hey, so like uh, two weeks ago, I met Judd Nelson. That was cool. Finally got my movie poster signed. This is the uh, die cast. Um, three zero, yeah, three zero figure. Rodimus, well done, well done. I would say most of the time, companies like Super Seven, Three Zero, those those are founded 
by Utaku's. Utaku's are fanboys. Uh, I don't know if there's a, a female, you know, it, in bastardized English, you would say Utaka, but that's, that sounds weird. Maybe Utaku is gender fluid, but Utaku, a fan, uh, if I was a wrestler, I'd be the American Utaku. That would be my name. Uh, oh, Genghis Frog, sure. From Super 7. Okay, yeah. We have uh, three zero Shattered Glass Optimus. It's, so it's, here's the Rodimus. Here's the Optimus. The Optimus. I don't know why some come in boxes and others don't. Always packed in there, super tight. Shattered glass. My one of my biggest contributions to Transformers was the phrase "till all are gone." I remember I I came up with that and I emailed Lanny Latham. And I said, I, I explained it to him very quickly. And I said, "You got to put it on there." Look at that box. I think my, okay, I would say my two biggest contributions that I point to, and I say, that was mine, and mine alone. I did that all by myself. Because it's a team effort, and there's lots of people who work on the brand, but every now and again, you get to say, you get to point to one thing, and you get to say, that's mine. I did it. All me. I'm lucky enough to have two of those. Till all are gone. And Sentinel Prime being the airport uh, fire truck in Dark of the Moon. Uh, everyone else went to go see Revenge of the Fallen in LA at the premiere and get to see the Lincoln Park concert. I went to Washington DC to set up the Smithsonian exhibit. And on my way back from DC, saw these weird tr trucks at Dulles International Airport. I'm like, what, what are those? I took pictures of them and then I looked them up and the board that we made to show Michael Bay what Sentinel could transform into used my pictures that I snapped while I was uh, coming home from setting up in Smithsonian. And my toys are at Smithsonian. All right, Noir pin set. You get Soundwave, Ravage, and let's say Buzzsaw. And this is number, they did a shit job. Look at that. It's number something of, it's number 71. It looks like it was number 70. They crossed it out. It's number 71 of 500. Well done. Ah, oh, we'll save that one for last. Another turtle. Space Cadet Ralph. Yes. Space Cadet Ralph. Uh, more of these. The Halloween. Optimus Prime. Give me your money. Optimus Prime. Yeah, yeah, that big one. We'll, we'll save that big one for later. Another Super Summon. Oh, oh, Alligator Con. Who would have ever thought that we would get an official figure of this? I mean, who in a million years would have ever thought we'd get... An alligator con from one of the most oddly animated episodes of G1 ever. Oh, I got a nice book, which I'll read tonight. Uh, 1978 to 1985, Kenner Toy Line. 
by Mr. Roland. Uh, yes, I'm taking this home tonight to read it. I love books. I love books. Oh, train bot. Train bot. Train bot. What the hell is this? Optimus. Oh! Mm. We're not going to open open this, but we're opening it. We're taking this out of this black box. Oh ho. Oh ho ho. Oh, you know I love me some Beast Wars. <sighs> slip cover. And yet another box. It's a box in a box in a slip cover. Oh. Oh, you bastard. It's not a it's not a box box. There it is. I thought it was a box box, but it's like the way they did it back in the original Beast Wars, but it's a box and it's a slip cover on top of the box. Man, cause I'd want to put that on the shelf like that. And now I can't. Mm. Oh, buddy. That is, that is Miss Takara. You have let me down. You have let me down. Mm -mm -mm, Cause I wanted to display that next to the original one. And I can't do that now. Because it, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not like the original one. It's different. It's different than the original one. All right, here's the last thing, but it's a big thing. And we're definitely opening it. What's this? Oh, sticker. Another statue. Optimus of House Prime. Oh, surprising. It comes in plastic rather than styrofoam. inch statue oh but this the whole thing is plastic the whole thing is plastic what i mean this was expensive the whole thing's plastic i mean the detail on it is amazing it's a great pose not individually numbered I mean, it's going to look amazing in my Optimus case. But. Uh, well. Yeah. That. That does it. For cut the tape today. Hmm. By the way, at the Frame and Picture Shop, we can make acrylic cases like this for you guys. Send me a message and then pay me money. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. Keep your hands clean. Be kind to others. And remember, it is the season of giving. It should always be the season of giving. Season of giving shouldn't just be the end of the year. Season of giving should be year-round. Help others. Even if it's just having a conversation with someone, even if it's just taking someone out and sitting down with them and having a cup of coffee, that might mean the world to someone. 
Let's all try and do a little good in this world. And with that, I will see you next time on Cut the Tape.